get in the way. Pressure still on, though. Opportunities here. Jesse's first corner. Work short to Cole. And here's Boga, and there's no flag. And what a great recovering challenge that was. A great tackle, wasn't it? And we, that's two we've seen now where the timing of the tackle has got to be at absolutely spot on. Charlie Masonda picks out Jeremy Boga just offside. The defender didn't know that. He has to get across quickly to make a, a stiff challenge. He does that very, very well. He's just feeling his way back after that broken leg he suffered against Derby last season. So that's a big test of a player when you get your first Absolutely. serious injury in how you Absolutely, respond to especially that. as a youngster, but also he's only known as Cole goes forward. And looks for Mitchell. It's another fantastic challenge. This is a good block, isn't it? So, so important. This cheap. To the feet of Boga. And so quickly closed down. Shampers lucky, but a while before Dartford gets it back. It's a poor pass, though, wasn't it? Chance for Ruben again. Now Reese Mitchell. Good straight. Done well. done well to keep possession, hasn't he? I just think his first run was wrong. Reese has come inside, a chance for Ruben. Loftus cheek. Oh, he grazed the side netting. And it gives him the dart for goal. We'll tell you, he would have passed his way, but in the pass he made, it's all very narrow, very, very tight. Right shoulder, right shoulder. Chelsea nil, Dartford nil. Reese Mitchell. Away! Looking cross. Solanka, 1 0. Just like that. One moment of quality, and Chelsea go in front. It's better, isn't it? And it's a good, tidy, tidy finish. You know, he's a big lad. It's a good ball in from Reese. And he's picked his man out poor defending you have to say by Dartford who have been pretty good up to this point but we did pick out the fact that they were just dropping off the scene a little bit then we see the ball come in it's an absolute nothing ball but look at that space solanka has gone prior to the ball coming in the Dartford players have dropped off him they've left him with what four or five yards to play in and inside a penalty area against a quality player you can't afford to do that they should be touch tight they're not in their set pieces knowing that maybe it's their best route to breach of Mitchell Beanie's goal. Three, the captain has gone forward for it. Adams is in there as well, so to Everett. Oh, it's a good save from Beanie. Well, it's one of those unexpected ones, isn't it? I think he's trying to pick out players at the far post. And he's got a little bit too much on it, and it's dipping into that far top corner. Mitchell's done really well. You see his positioning there slightly close to the near post. Good adjustment of his, his feet, just a step back. Conroy. Right. Center to Chelsea at under 10 level, Kevin Wright. From uh, left wing to left back in recent years. Like another foul on Loftus cheek, but play will go on, and Mitchell squares it, and a great chance for 2 0, which is taken. It's another for Solanka. Lovely ball in from Mitchell. And Solanka provided the finish. Chelsea 2, Dartford 0. Do you know what, Matt? That started with such top quality. And the first pass, pass from deep by Charlie Masonda into that midfield area was excellent. Ruben Loftus cheek has got caught. Referee's done well to play the advantage. Lovely ball in by Reese Mitchell. And there you want your centre forward coming in at the far post, sliding in unmarked. Just needs to make good contact on the football. Slides in time to, on, on Ruben Loftus cheek. Thankfully, he's okay. Salanka's got what an hour or so to claim the match ball now. Well, the question is now, what do Dartford do? At two 0 it's a difficult one for them. I don't expect Chelsea to go on now. Let's even get the third here with Reese Mitchell. Angle didn't really favour him. Maybe he could have squared it back to Salanka, but he saw the net and wanted to make it bulge. Yeah. Still a bit of fire in the belly of Dartford, you must say. Still giving it a go, working hard. And I think because they've got a bit of buzz, it, it keeps us with full concentration, Matt. I think it's doing us a favour, to be honest. And it's not necessarily testing us, but it's making us ask questions. Cole's going to go for goal here. Through to Gibson's wonderful crossfield ball to him from Masonda. 
Hodge, wasn't it? Yeah. Then comes in from the dark, Dartford centre back, Isaiah. Again, close to the mark, possibly a yellow card. Still those challenges, big challenges coming in. This one too, Boga. Chance for number three here, good save from the keeper. Oh no, it's not, it's a horrible mistake. Looked as though Gibson had managed to pat it away, but he couldn't. It's uh, a gift of a goal for Fankati Darbo, and it's Chelsea three, Dartford nil. Well, we wanted a third one, didn't we? And it's going to be just be for me an avalanche, but again, not the best defending, but good run off the ball by Fankati. He just kept going with his run, and of course, if Boga's involved, usually something happens. He gets on the ball, a little flick round the corner. Good first touch by Fankati, and finishes very, very well. It's on his left foot, but managed to get that, get that little bit of space to get tremendous power in the strike. And the next goal, from Dartford's pers perspective. You never know, and I think that would be the, the emphasis of his half-time team talk. Of course, if Chelsea can get out and get a sec uh, sorry, a fourth goal. Never going from range, well wide. At some stage in the early stages of the second half, then you know their heads will drop, and they, you know, we could go on and get a few more. Be the big number nine, Akinwande. And at the moment, he's been starved of the ball, which again is good defending by us. Seven minutes gone, second half, no change to the score. Chelsea still three goals to the good and cruising. In fourth year, aimed in at Salanka. As far as Darbo, he's Colt. Stick up play between uh, Loftus Cheek and Colt. Loftus Cheek again, wanted it on his right foot. Gave Gibson a problem, he managed to bat it away, the goalkeeper, and got lucky. Gibson in goal, though. It won't, uh, it won't stop the likes of Jeremy Boga taking on the direct shot, though. Overall, Cole. It's Boga sort of sums up his night, that. Yeah, disappointed, it wasn't even close, was it? And, and as I said, you know, it's a very... You have to, when there's a slope on the pitch like there is, it's hard enough when it's flat, most, all, shall we say, Premier League pitches. But Labour there. These two centre halves have not been overly worked tonight. Abraham. Oh, is this the moment for the hat trick? Yes, it is. Goal number four for Chelsea. Three of them for Dom Solanke. There's the fourth goal we were after. Gibson beaten yet again. It's Solanke's night. It's Chelsea 4, Dartford 0. Yeah, and it's just, it's just a, a perfect slide rule pass, isn't it? Here we see the pass by Chelsea Colkin. Just through the heart of their defensive ends. And for once, the two centre backs got pulled apart. Solanke in a great position. Doesn't he keep a calm head? Just shifts the ball from one foot to the other. Slides it through the goalkeeper's legs as the challenge comes in. And a big, big grin and smile, if you please. He's Encouraged to have a run. He's doing really well as well. It's Masonda. Get the shot off. And Dartford find a consolation. This is their opportunity. Tess Fabini here, what a recovering tackle from Dion Conroy. Absolutely magnificent from the Chelsea centre half. Wasn't it? Sonder. This cheek. Sleep spread out to Abraham. Abraham got it across. Goalkeeper got something on it. Luckily for him, Vint was close by. It's an, awkward, it away. it's an awkward one for the keeper. I think he's done it for him one last run. We know he's capable at this stage of the game. I suppose you don't blame him for having a go. Maybe one last chance for Dartford. Away the substitute, Vince Diner. 
off the corner flag, allowing Aina to clear. And that is that. Chelsea through to round four of the FA Youth Cup without too many problems. That man, the star of the show, Don Solanke with a hat-trick. Two of them coming in the first half to have to put Chelsea two goals in front. Fankati Darbo added a third before the break. No avalanche of goals in the second half for the Blues. And Solanke made sure that he can take the match ball home with him by adding a fourth in the closing stages of the match. It was... A valiant effort from Dartford, but they always look second best here. Solanke will get the headlines, but it was an excellent performance all round from AD Vivash's team. Final score, Chelsea 4, Dartford 0.